Hello everyone, welcome to this episode of Get Real with Real Estate. I am Melissa Steele with Team Steele San Diego Homes and I am here to chat with you this week about what are ADUs or accessory dwelling units. And the reason that this is on my mind is this past week, oh look, looks like a little hat. I'm gonna move this way. This past week we actually did our American Dream TV episode here at our own house, which I'm standing in, um, to showcase an accessory dwelling unit and really share with people what an accessory dwelling unit is. So you're gonna have to wait for that episode for the full tour of our accessory dwelling unit that we live in on our property, but it is a buzzword that's been going around the market lately and so many people have been asking us, what is an ADU? What is an accessory dwelling unit? And it's a great question. Um, just last year, the uh, legislature changed in California and it's really um, encouraging people to use existing structures on their properties to convert into additional living space. So really what is an accessory dwelling unit? It's a living space that can be used to rent out, to have guests stay in, basically to provide additional housing on an existing property. Um, and most homes that are, you know, have an accessory dwelling unit, the lot is actually zoned for a single family residence with just one main home on it. And people convert, in a lot of instances, their garage, or they'll build an addition off of their home and make that an accessory dwelling unit. Or they'll convert a space like we had on our property, which was a built-in patio. Um, and so they will work on converting that space with the city, go through the permitting process, and the um, accessory dwelling unit can take a variety of forms. And you may have actually heard of it in a variety of different names too. It often goes by or has gone by in the past. The name of granny flat is very common, miniature home, tiny home. Um, what are some of the other ones? I forget, but there's there's a ton and I'm sure that you've heard of them. Oh, uh, prefab homes, guest units, studios are all common names for an accessory dwelling unit. And now with permitting, it's even easier to get one on your property. So here in San Diego, one of the reasons we love accessory dwelling units and why so many people have been asking us about them is it's hard to afford in a market like San Diego. It was hard for us to afford our house when we wanted to buy here in San Diego. And it's something that we're constantly helping a lot of our Alexa stop. <laughs> I have a timer, I apologize. Got time to go check on the laundry. Um, where was I? Uh, my focus, um, oh, financial, sorry. The financials of why an accessory dwelling unit is so important on your property. It's hard to afford a home in San Diego and so many of our clients really struggle to get into a home and it's important and one of the things that we love doing is having their property work for them and being getting creative, whether it be renting out a room and having a roommate or buying something that has a granny flat already in the backyard or buying a home that has the potential to build an accessory dwelling unit in the back just like we did on our home and the potential can be so great we moved into our home um, we bought this property over two years ago now we remodeled the whole main home it was a two bedroom one bath pretty dumpy we did a whole gut job remodeled it lived in there while we permitted and built out this accessory dwelling unit that i stand in today and now we've been renting the main house. We've been living in the smaller unit in the backyard. It's a small two bedroom, one bath, 500 square foot unit. If you wanna see how we outdid ourselves with this space, definitely tune into this um, month's episode of American Dream TV. It'll probably be launching early December um, to really see how we've showcased our space because we hope that we can be your inspiration. It's been amazing living back here in the smaller space having built this and really designed it and gotten to create it for ourselves and our usability and being able to rent the main home, we were able to Airbnb it all summer long and now we have a long-term tenant moving in as of November 1st. So it's been an amazing um, and really transformative project for us. It was an undertaking, I'm not gonna lie. Doing a project and building out an ADU is never gonna be easy, but it's been fantastic to really offset the cost of our mortgage and our expenses with the income from the Airbnb and our long-term rental. It's been really amazing seeing our property work for us. So if you have a vision of getting into a home or if you have the story of, I can't get into a home, it's gonna be way too hard for me, we should connect because you may be able to get a home, get into a home and actually have that home start working for you 
um, paying off parts of your mortgage and really lining your own pockets instead of your landlords. It's time you stopped paying rent. So reach out to us if you have any questions or you might have an existing home and you're curious if you could build an accessory dwelling unit or an ADU on your personal property, reach out to us. We do walkthroughs all the time. There's no expectation that you have to sell your property or give us a listing. Honestly, this stuff lights us up and we would love to help educate you and share some of the things that we learned on our project and hopefully inspire you to do the same on yours. Hope you have a great rest of your day and we will talk to you soon. Hit us up if you have any more questions on ADUs.